Actually, I, I made this geometry uh, with interfaces, so I'm not intending to be doing any uh, conformal mesh between the these domains, but they will be the different. Non-conformal mesh will be there, but we will try to mesh them so that they don't have the lot of uh, uh, large jumps uh, in the mesh on the interfaces. So this is our 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 try, but that will be taken care automatically. So. I will be doing it inside the Fluent Meshing, so I will select from the here Fluent 2023 Release 2 and click on the Watertight uh, Geometry Workflow. And uh, here we have the double precision, uh, do not show this panel, okay. So I have the four uh, processors or the four cores on my machine, so I'm using all of them here. So you can click on Start. And also I would suggest that you should save the your uh, geometry. So save. So the geometry is now imported into the fluid meshing. And if you take a look here, you can uh, from the clipping planes, you can insert a clip here. And uh, you can see the geometry here. And uh, if you want, you can hide, let's, let's say for example here, we have the two surfaces. So I can select the one surface and ki I can hide it. So they will be now single surface. In a similar way, I can again hide here. I think they are not putting the, uh, the command on the surfaces, but this is put, uh, using the command on the whole boundary condition, okay? So that's why you can see that all of these uh, surfaces are gone for the interface, which is maybe part of outer, maybe inner domain, I don't know. But this is what right now we have. Okay, so you can move the plane slightly so that you can view the blades in a much proper way. Okay, like this. Okay, and if you click here, uh, you can see the things in a, in a transparent way, like here. Okay, and uh, now you can see the all things together. Okay, now uh, geometry is now like you can click here import geometry file. Okay, uh, do you want to add local sizing? Right now I don't require to be adding the local sizing, so I, I'm not going to do it. So, okay, so now I will be selecting uh, the update command for the nothing should be done here. And uh, right now this is making the minimum size, which is the, the boxes, minimum boxes. And this is going to be size over here. So I think this size is uh, is going to be okay. Or you make it like a maybe two. And the largest one, they are okay. The maximum size, I think also is okay. Uh, but the one thing is that the maximum size uh, uh, problem with uh, this sizing is that it, it takes, care, takes care of curvature proximity. So on flat surfaces, it will try to implement the uh, the maximum size. So now you can see that if this is the like uh, interface domain, so this size may be very large for the these boundaries. And in fact, for this this uh, will be taken care by the curvature and proximity, but these surfaces will will suffer. So I would suggest that uh, we go with the maybe twenty. Okay, or maybe like uh, fifteen. 15 uh, may be very small for the uh, geometry. So then in that case, if you are getting confused, then you have to put the like uh, uh, local sizing. So you can put the face sizing over here, okay? So let's go with the 20. And I want to put the two cells in a gap so that I can at least have the two cells across the uh, this small thickness over here. And similarly also across these uh, values, okay? So now I want to apply the proximity on the edges. This is a default condition, but if you put it on faces and edges both, then you can have the refined mesh along the faces as well. And now click on generate surface mesh. Okay. Uh, it showing that the okay 
this is not a problem actually so this is just a warning that we have the shirt topology but we have already made the domains in a proper way so there is no need to apply shirt topology in the fluid meshing here uh, surfaces are also okay uh, two elements across the surface here but if you want to put the three elements you can also do it uh, sizes here this is very small size so I would suggest that we should go with uh, some larger size here okay so let's make it 30 and again update okay this seems okay And uh, we have the refined sizes here. I don't know why this is making the sizes like this over here. Uh, maybe there are the broken edges here. So let's let me check. Uh, do we have the broken edges here? So let's go to repair and click on the split edges. So we don't have the, any split edges. Do we have the extra edges? So it shows that uh, we have the extra edges okay, they are extra edges I I don't think so okay anyhow just keep going and uh, let's see what we get okay so let's hide this surface Uh, this should have not been be the case here. It should not be refining mesh like this. I don't know. Okay. Anyhow, so we have the only fluid regions. Yes, correct. Uh, do you want to change the fluid fluid boundary from wall to internal? No, I want to keep them interfaces. Uh, do you want to apply the shirt topology? No, I have already processed geometry in a proper way uh, in the space claim. So I don't need to be doing that thing. Uh, non confirm mesh between the objects, yes, correct. So, and uh, multi zone meshing, no, I don't want to apply the different meshing in different zones. I want to apply the same meshing technique for all volumes. So, click on describe geometry and uh, shear topology will disappear. Okay, if you want to increase the mesh quality, you can do it like right now. So, uh, for example, you can improve the surface uh, mesh. Okay, now just leave it and uh, go to update boundaries. So, uh, these all boundaries will be like, uh, their interfaces, I will change them in the fluent. So, they are interfaces and all of them like uh, all the walls. Okay, so update boundaries. And uh, these are all are the fluid regions like uh, domain, rotor domain 1, rotor domain 2 and, uh, rotor and the tank domain. So click on update regions. And okay, I want to add the three layers only, but that is on the uh, like uh, on the selected levels and that is the impeller 1 and impeller 2. Okay, so wall rotor 1 and the wall rotor number 2. Select them by control pressing control key. And let's put the 5 layers. Okay, and keep the default settings here. You can also change the from the expert ratio, last expert ratio. So it's your choice, but smooth transition should be the best one. And click and up, uh, add boundary layer. And after that, we have to create the volume meshing. And I'm going to create using the uh, polyhedra and hexco. This is going to create the very nice uh, poly mesh with the poly prisms and uh, mosaic meshing uh, between them and the hexacore mesh in the, the remaining domain. So keep the default settings here and click on generate the volume mesh.
सो द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स आर टू लैक थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फोर्टी एट एंड द मिनिमम ऑर्थोन क्वालिटी इज अ पॉइंट टू विच इज़ वेरी नाइस एंड नाउ लेट्स एग्जामिन द मैश Okay, you can see the prism layers here. Over here, okay. So the mesh looks very good. So we can now run the simulation. But right now, the, the our goal was not to run simulation on this uh, tank here. Uh, but you can set up the set up the different two let's say diff two fluids, and you can use the VF. or the fluid is a uniform you can use a mixture model but if you want to solve the uh, like a dispersed phase or maybe the sand particles so in that case you have to use the iron iron model and if you want to inject the some particles from the somewhere uh, in that case you can also enable the dpm or discrete phase model uh, in the tank so depends on the which flow regime you want to solve here now this will be the now this is uh, will be the end of the uh, this workshop or the tutorial so i hope that you like this one if you like this one please uh, give the one like and also sub subscribe my channel and refer this video to your friends thank you very much